Hey gang, in this video, I wanna talk about the concept of intentionality. Uh, this really is a trick that will make sure that if you follow the process here, it's a bit of a, a, a mind trick, a Jedi mind trick that'll make sure you get more done in a day than most people get done in a week, particularly if you're a solopreneur, a freelancer working from home or, or a small co-working space and you're connected to the internet every day, I guarantee you've all got problems with being distracted by the internet. So what I wanna do is I wanna help you overcome that and I'm not going to recommend you use any particular type of uh, software or browser extensions or any of that kind of fancy pants stuff. All I'm going to do is suggest that you get a pen and a paper and be willing to close your eyes, okay? <laughs> What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through an exercise. Um, I use a journal to do this, which I'll talk about in a moment. But you, I just want you to do this on a piece of paper to begin with. It's an exercise called rocks and it looks like this. What you wanna do is on a piece of paper, you just wanna, at the start of the day, you wanna make sure that you write out all of the things that you wanna get done that day, okay? So let's just start out by writing out, um, you know, uh, watch, CAF video, which of course is part of your daily routine now. <laughs> and then it might be um, call prospect Z about project. And then uh, we might do some, you know, we've got to do some internet banking. Uh, we've got to post some stuff off. Uh, we need to uh, fix the contact form on our website because Troy told us to. Um, we need to post in the Facebook groups uh, that we belong to. Um, we also need to write some copy for uh, an email that we're going to send. And also we want to take active campaign for a spin because uh, we're thinking about using that for our new email newsletter software. Uh, my Lord, my handwriting's terrible, isn't it? And... Uh, what else do we want to do today? What's the other thing that we're going to do today? Um, we are going. Oh, that's what the other thing we're going to do is we're going to have a look at that new AppSumo lifetime deal, that piece of software that's on sale, right? Now, this you might laugh at this, but this is actually I've seen lists that look like this. In fact, this is pretty good compared to a lot of lists that I've seen. So what I want you to do is just brain dump. It doesn't matter how trivial they are. Just brain dump all of the things that you want to do today or that you think you need to get done today. By the way, that's call prospect Z re project. Okay, I'm just making stuff up here. And then what I want you to do is I want you to prioritize all of these things in order. The first thing I want you to do is put a red line through everything that is completely meaningless and is not going to help you at all. So um, uh, right now, posting in the Facebook groups is completely meaningless. Taking active campaign for a spin is useless. That AppSumo lifetime deal can go. Um, the uh, uh, write some copy, we don't need that right now. Um, so we're left with half our list. You should be able to just scrap half your list straight away. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a look at the things here and I'm going to highlight the things that I don't want to do in yellow. I don't wanna do that because it's very scary and she's probably a little bit pissed off with me. I don't wanna do that because I feel like it's gonna take a long time. The things that I really wanna do is I wanna watch another one of Troy's videos. I wanna see how much money I've got in the bank and at some point I'll post that thing off, right? Now this is a very rude and quick and dirty version of this exercise, but I can tell you now, the thing that you don't wanna do right, is the, the things in yellow that you don't want to do are the things that you should do first. So in this case, what I would do is I would be taking that there and I'd be moving that over there and then I would be taking, um, if this was the example, I'd be taking that there and I'd be moving it over there and I'd say um, probably the only other thing I would do if this was the actual list would be that there, a bit of professional development, okay, and I'd probably do them in that order. That now is your list for the day. Everything else can just be gone. We don't need it. In fact, I'm just going to completely erase that and get rid of it. And it's all rubbish. We don't need it. It's all gone. It's all noise. 
So how long do you think it's going to take us to do these things? If we started work at 10 o'clock in the morning because we had a bit of a sleep in, how long do you think it would take us to do those things? I reckon we could get that done by midday, a couple of hours and we're done. Yeah, These are what are called rocks. These are the big rocks. Okay. If you don't know the metaphor, it goes something like this. There's an empty glass and you've got rocks, you've got smaller pebbles and you've got lots of sand and you've got water. And you need to get all of that into the glass. If you put the sand in first, there's no room for the pebbles. You might get a couple of pebbles in and then you put the water in and the whole thing's full. The only way to get it all in is to put the big rocks in first and then the smaller pebbles fill up the holes between the rocks and then the sand fills up the holes between the pebbles and then the water gets soaked up by the sand. You have to start with the big rocks. And intentionality looks like this. At the start of the day, you set your intention for how you want to spend that day and the things that you absolutely need to get done so at the end of the day, you know that you've had a very productive and a high value day, not just being busy doing a whole bunch of stuff that doesn't really matter. Again, I know this is very, very soft touch and very woo-woo and you're probably wondering what the hell this has to do with getting clients. I promise you, when we move through this training, I'm going to ask you to get out of your comfort zone. I'm going to ask you to do some things that you don't want to do. I'm going to ask you to pick up the phone. I'm going to ask you to put yourself out there. I'm going to ask you to have conversations with strangers. I know it's very scary, right? And you are going to find 8,000 excuses not to do it. So this whole first kind of week of training all around mindset, I, I didn't need to do this. Okay, I could just say, hey, here's how we get clients, show you the process, and then it's up to you. If you don't take action, well, that's your business, not mine. But the truth is, I want you guys to be a success story for me in a case study so I can use you as social proof in the future so I can sell thousands more copies of this course. That's why I'm doing this. It's not completely selfless, okay? There is something in this for me as well. I want you to take action and I want you to get results and I don't want this fluff that normally fills our day to get in the way. That's why I'm walking you th through this exercise now. In the next video, I'm going, to I'm going to show you the planner that I use that ties my gratitude and my intentionality and my reflection all together to mean that usually I can get more done in a day than most people get done in a week. So in the, in the next video, I'll walk you through that. But right now, I just want you to leave me a comment under the video and tell me what are the three most important things you need to get done in the next 24 hours and what are you going to do to make sure you do them? And then in the next video, I'll walk you through some reflections and also show you the journal that I use to help me. All right, leave a comment under the video and I'll see you in the next video.